Hi everyone, today we are going to see organs of speech. It contains three parts. We are going to see today the first part, respiration. In the last video, we have seen what is phonetics. Phonetics is a component of linguistics and it deals with articulation, transmission and reception. The first part, articulation of speech sounds, is nothing but the production of speech sounds. It involves speech mechanism. The speech mechanism is carried out in three systems. The first one is respiratory system. Second is articulatory system. Third, the phonetary system. The respiratory system lies in the trunk of our body. That is from the neck to the abdomen. The articulatory system lies in the head and the phonetary system lies in the throat. Let us see the respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of the lungs, the muscles of the chest. These muscles of the chest make the lungs expand and contract. Then we have the windpipe. It is also called as trachea. Next we have the bronchi. They are the two tubes which enter the lungs. Each tube is called the bronchus. The lungs are soft bodies situated on either side of our chest. The lungs receive oxygen through the two bronchi. The two bronchi join together into one bronchus above the lungs. The bronchus joins the windpipe or the trachea. When we breathe in, that is, when we take the air from the outer atmosphere into our lungs, we take the air into the lungs through the windpipe, the bronchus and the bronchi. The process of breathing in is called inspiration. When we take the air out into our lungs, the muscles of the chest expand. When we breathe out, the air from the lungs goes out of the lungs through the bronchi into the bronchus then into the trachea and then into the outer atmosphere the process of breathing the air out of the lungs is called expiration when we breathe out the muscles of the chest make the lungs contract the respiratory system lies in the trunk of our body is very much important for the production of speech because we need air for speaking. For the production of most of the speech sounds, pulmonic airstream mechanism is followed. So, all the speech sounds of English language are articulated using the pulmonic airstream mechanism. You should remember that Pulmonic airstream mechanism is nothing but the aggressive air. Aggressive air is nothing but the air we breathe out. Therefore, aggression helps us to articulate speech sounds and it is called pulmonic airstream mechanism. Thank you for your patient listening. We, can, we shall meet in the next video.